on. Nope. And we should be live now. Okay, good. And we're going to click that right there. Sorry, right, everybody. I do this on my own, so. Hey, maybe one day I'll become a big shot. What do you think? All right. All right, everybody. Hey, this is uh, Jeffrey Jansen. Today is November 17th. 2020 I told everybody that at 6 30 we'd be going live so I could explain to you what the fireside chat's going to be about all right so as you all know we do daily reflections daily motivation we've done books in the past we do different things to in order to reach different people now a lot of times it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor if you're depressed or if you're on top a lot of people they need that some encouragement they need to know what to do and what to say you know they're always looking for that quick um you know it's kind of like whenever we hear like a quote we like okay the quote can you know make us on cloud nine you know we can we can hear it like man i really like that kind of like the quote behind me you know a few years of grinding can produce a lifetime of freedom all right so what we're doing now sorry somebody was trying to call me but i got all my um um, things active we are live right now on uh facebook instagram and youtube all right and then we're going to put this out there. The fireside chats will last exactly 15 minutes. In fact, there's going to be a timer every night. And I'll have a schedule up. I'm going to say right now 7 p.m., okay, 1900 Central Standard Time every night, okay? We're going to have everywhere from leaders of our community, leaders of the nation. You know, we're going to have everywhere from truckers to military to sergeants to sergeant majors to commanders to, to corporals to commandants, you know, different people from the American Legion, um, to pastors, to different religions, okay? And when they come on, we're going to have a 15-minute talk. And hopefully within that 15 minutes, people that are down their luck, they're depressed, they're not feeling great, they will be able to pull themselves up or at least give them enough encouragement to go on for another day, okay? Now, once a week, we'll have special guests, Throughout the week, we'll have special guests, too. We're going to have one main special guest. I'll try to figure out what those days will be. And then I'm going to post who's going to be on, okay? These people are doing it because we're trying to encourage those that need encouragement. Now, it's funny. It's because a lot of us like, I don't need encouragement. We all need encouragement at some point in time. At other times, you know, we all need God. Or we all need faith. Or we all need to have faith in ourselves or faith in each other. We all need to learn to forgive ourselves before we can learn to forgive anybody else. I've got friends that are Cherokee. I've got friends that are Navajo. I've got friends that are priests, rabbis, Jewish leaders, Muslim leaders. I've got leaders that are in the politics. I've got leaders on the Democrat, the Republican, the left, the right. You know, I've got people all over the place. And here's one thing we all have in common. We all are out for the most common good of each other. In other words, nobody wants to see anybody depressed. Nobody wants to see anybody. We're not doing politics on here just because there are going to be political leaders. We're not doing, we're not trying to convince you to join a religion or join a faith. We're just trying to show you or maybe give you some words or some encouragement of where you can go in life, you know. Now, there's another guy by the name of uh, Jeff Jansen that I hope will come on and help us out a little bit. And it's funny, it's not me. <laughs> and a lot of people think it, but he is this uh, pastor. He's got a huge church, you know, he's got a huge following not because of where he's at, but because of what he tells people, what he talks to people about. He, he's encouraging, okay? Then you've got people like Rich Ellermans of the world, okay, who come on here. And all they're going to do is tell you, you know, little bits and nuggets of information that help you move forward. I'm still doing the same thing I do every single day. I'm doing what I can to help out all military, the 22 that kill themselves every single day. I still do legal shield and identity shield full time. It's the only area I make any money at. But I'm still the commander or the commandant of the Marine Corps League. And I still do every single military activity and all the parades and all the, you know, I still do all that kind of stuff. I still volunteer my time, you know. I'm still the father of a beautiful 13-year-old little girl named Gracie who I love with my entire heart, who I'm not going anywhere, okay. I still fight in court. I still help people that need jobs. I still try to give encouragement, okay. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to bring all these sources together so that fireside chats are 
you need to find a job, you can call us afterwards or you can email us and we can see where you're at and what you're doing and what we can help you with. Maybe you need a suit for uh, to get a job. Maybe you need some uh, motivation to go get a job. Maybe you're some one of these people that you need to work on your own and the reason why you're having problems is because you don't like that, those people above you telling you what you can or cannot do. We can help you there. Okay, this whole thing though is to bring us all together, show you people in the trucking and the factory workers the pencil pushers, you know, the military, you know, all the different branches show you why the military likes to joke around with each other and stuff like that. We're going to do it within 15 minutes every night. OK, and we're going to have special guests, too. And what I hope to do with this is bring everything together at this one time. And so we can have a discussion, a face to face discussion. OK, and for the truckers and them on the road, we're going to have the phone systems up and going also so that they can listen and they can hear what we have to say for that 15 minutes. Now, the first 15 minutes are going to be the main part. After that, if we go longer, that's because people are asking questions, but it's only going to be 15 minutes, and that's the whole idea. 15 minutes a day to breed a lifetime of encouragement for others. 15 minutes a day, like sitting around a campfire, okay? That's why I said fireside. It's going to be like we're all going to sit the ground together, okay? We're not going to sing kumbaya or anything like that, but what we are going to do is we're going to talk about the jobs that need that need work, okay? People need jobs or maybe the motivation. Maybe some people are opening up. I just learned one of my truck drivers opened up a uh, craft store and over in Missouri, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, they get all the publicity and promotion they can. We're not sitting there, you know, charging, but this is all free and we're going to have it on every single free platform. That's why this is open to everybody. People are not always going to like what we have to say, but every time it's going to be different. Why? Because we're out to reach people that we cannot normally reach. And the only way to do that is together. The only way we get anywhere in life is to have your, you know, your fire team that leads into your squad, your squad that leads in your platoon, your platoon leads into your company, your company leads into your battalion, your battalion leads in to your uh, muse, uh, sorry, Marine Expeditionary Units, uh, stuff like that, MEBs, Marine Expeditionary Battalions. The whole idea is we all function as one. And the fireside chats that we're going to start, you know, you're right. They're going to be slow. And we're going to need to know who's going to want to be on them. We're going to need to know. You need to be, say comments on the stuff coming in. I'll say you guys' name as they come up and everything else as we do them. And we're going to start them tomorrow. We're going to start the fireside chats with just regular everyday people that are looking to get ahead in life, that are looking for a little encouragement, looking maybe they're, they're stuck at a problem. How many people have you known that have been extremely smart, but they get stuck? They get stuck in their head, they get stuck on a math problem, they get stuck on maybe some of their poetry, they get stuck on their books, or they're having a, they're, they're just, you know, they're, they're empty. We're here to give you a little bit of filling up. And yes, there will be religion involved. Yes, there will be military involved. Yes, there will be probably language questionable. I'll keep it. PG, so we don't cuss or anything like that. I'll keep that and I'll ask everybody to respect that. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to bring a little light in a big dark world right now. Because a lot of people are home sitting on their couches. I think my, my couch has a nice, you know, but imprint of me on here. But the whole idea is when I was in the Marine Corps, a lot of my brothers that I served with are the greatest people I can imagine. They became firefighters. They became truck drivers, okay? They they work um, in the uh, forest industry. A lot of them became police officers. A lot of them became fathers. You know, a lot of them became, you know, cooks and chefs. Um, some of them work in the factories. Some of them do Uber driving and Lyft driving, okay? Some of them flip houses. So, you know, there's enough of us out there, not just the military, but in general, that can help a lot of people. And I've lost both friends that are civilians and friends that are military to suicide and stuff because they didn't feel like people cared about them. And we can't, we're never going to be able to reach everybody. But it's exactly like one of the main stories of all time, the starfish, okay? And, and the starfish story goes like this. You can look it up. It's going to be told different ways. It's just how I'm explaining it. And I'm explaining it as though I'm walking with my daughter. You're walking on the beach one day and after a really big hurricane all these hurricanes come in all the storms and it puts everything up on the beach you know throws all the trash well all of a sudden there's thousands and thousands of starfish okay and it's only you and her so she starts running she starts throwing all the starfish back and throwing the starfish back and you know i can go up to her and say gracie 
What's why are you throwing that starfish back? You can't save them all. What's the point? And she can look right at me and goes, Daddy. Now, by the way, this is not my story. It's just I'm improvising this part. She goes, it made a difference to that one. But if we all start bringing our daughters and we all start coming to those beaches and we start throwing those starfish back and we give them a chance, you know, I'd rather help one than none at all. And if I can help two or three or four, if I can keep throwing them back till they die, we can do it. And if we do nothing at all, we don't help anybody. But if we do one thing, and all these things I've been doing, whether it's on YouTube or anything else, it's so that I can help somebody. So I can, we can help, maybe we can help that one person. Everybody else is going to laugh at us. I'm like, what are they throwing those starfish back for? They made a difference to anybody. You're going to have people like that. You're going to have the negative people, no matter what we say, think, or do. There's going to be negative people. I can't stress how many negative people. There's going to be negative people that don't care. They're going to they're going to call names. They're going to call you out. They'll call the cops on you for you doing nothing at all. They, they try to play this game, but you're always going to have somebody that's against everything you do. Why? Because they're that 1% that don't care. They're the 1% that nobody cared about them so they don't feel. But you know what? After a while, they see what you do and they see how much you build. Next thing you know, you got 50 to 100 to 1,000 people throwing starfish back. You've got one Marine out there with a fire team and that fire team, you know, now is out there. Well, all of a sudden, the squad's out there. Now you got two fire teams. Now all of a sudden, you got a platoon. Okay? You got 31 guys out there. Well, anyway, my numbers are a little off, but that's okay. But you get what I'm trying to say. You know, one person makes a difference. More people make even more of a difference. And I promise you, if we do nothing, nothing will get done. And I cannot sit back and ever look at myself as somebody that didn't at least try. I've been beaten down so hard in my life. I've been accused and threatened and you name it in every different angle. All because sometimes we have to do things different to help people because what's going on is either not working not working fast enough or people don't know about it so the things that are working we're also going to let you know about so not only are we going to help you get jobs not only are we going to give you encouragement not only are we going to offer you be, be, to become part of teams not only are we going to show you all the different voluntary groups maybe get all the freebies out there to where you can go and get yourself up to get, get your suits your coats but it's for everybody and that is better than doing nothing at all and keeping all that information inside and we don't ask anything in return other than to make sure that you and you're happy, that you're okay, and you communicate with us. Strength through communication. Communication is through strength. Okay? That's what we always need to do. Communication is the key to everything. Okay? doesn't matter how great you are. If you don't communicate, you don't let it out there, then nobody else is ever going to know. So we need to communicate. Not everyone's always going to be happy. Not everybody's always going to tune in. But starting tomorrow, 7 p.m., Central Standard Time, we're going to start this, which tomorrow's Wednesday. And we're going to do it every day. But starting tomorrow, we'll have special guests and we'll have other people that come out there and help us. Okay? Sometimes I'll be inside. Sometimes I'll be outside. Sometimes I'll be in the freezing cold. Sometimes I'll be in the warmth. It just depends on where we need to be. But right now, with everybody at home, I'm hoping that we can get a little bit of inspiration out there. Hopefully, each and every one of you knows that you matter. And tonight, I'm going to end it with this. Join us every every day, 7 p.m., starting tomorrow at 7 p.m. for 15 minutes. In that time, know this. Do something good for somebody else. Call your friends that you haven't talked to in a while. Call your family you haven't talked to in a while. Learn to forgive yourself first before you do anything in the world. Learn to forgive yourself. Help people find those opportunities or give them an opportunity that normally you wouldn't give them. Look at some of the most hurtful, painful things in your life. And forgive those that cause them and forgive the cause of them and let them go. Forgive people in your life. Go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. Get away from the drugs and the alcohol. Get away from all the negative people. Eventually, they'll come back to you, but they're not going to be negative anymore because they're going to find out that their negativity has been scaring people away. Yes, there's a reason why they're negative. And sometimes we cannot be the person that helped those people because we are in the mix of who they are. But every day in your life, you need to know you matter. You need to know there's a God in the heavens that are sitting there looking down on you. You need to know that there's friends out there that are willing to help you. You need to know that you're not in this by yourself. And you need to know that every single day, you make the difference in somebody else's life. Even if you don't make a difference in your own life, making a difference in somebody else's life, make sure that is why you matter.
we don't matter because what we do for ourselves and how much greed we can have or but what we can do for other people and and sometimes we do have to do good for ourselves in order to help other people you have to help yourself first forgive yourself first and know this before i end it right now you matter every day in your life you matter and you stand a chance every day you get up in the morning you yes you make all the difference in the world i'm jeffrey jansen you can find me on this page here go make sure to tune in tomorrow 7 p.m central standard time you can also uh, go on to my virtual business card at jeffjansen.info and i'd love to hear from everybody all right everybody we're gonna end it here we're just letting you know what it's gonna be about tomorrow and then we're gonna get going all right i'll see everybody in a little bit if you want to watch i'll be reading a book tonight and then after that it's all on you see everybody